Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if your Bluetooth device appears to keep disconnecting randomly on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in device manager. Go ahead and open that up from the list here. And now go ahead and double click on the Bluetooth device listed under here. And you want to locate the Bluetooth device. Again, should be listed under Bluetooth. You want to right click on it and select properties. If there's a power management tab that's available for your Bluetooth device, I'd recommend selecting it. And then if there was an option to allow the computer to turn off the device to save power, I would uncheck that option. However, if you don't see that option, we're going to do a couple other things here too anyway. So just select OK, close out of here. So something else we want to look into here as well, open up the search menu, type in services, best match, or come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Locate the Bluetooth support service and double click on it. If service status is running, we're going to go ahead and stop it. And then we're going to start it back up. And we're going to set startup type to automatic and then select apply and OK. Once that's done, close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in device manager. Best match, we're going back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on the network adapter section and then right click on your network connection type in here and select where it says properties. Select the power management tab and where it says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Uncheck that option and then select OK. Once that's done, you can go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in IP config, followed by a space, forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard, should come back to Windows IP configuration, successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, once again exactly how you see it on my screen, and hit enter. Successfully reset the WinSock catalog, you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.